It's a tale of two halves for us. Um, I thought we played very well in the first half. I thought we played really hard. Uh, defense was really good. I thought we shared the ball offensively. The only negative for the first half, and it's been carried over through the game, was rebounding. Um, but again, I, I thought the first half was really good. The start of the second half, you know, we had a turnover right away, but then we pushed the lead up to 23. And then from there, you know, we just kind of hung on. Um, and we didn't play as well. I, I think we were a little tired, you know, and maybe a mistake that I made. We, we, we practiced really hard Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And perhaps it was a little bit too much, uh, you know, three days in a row and then to come out because I thought we were just tired in the second half. Um, but, you know, again, our defense for the most part was pretty good throughout. You know, the team was averaging 74. We held them to 54. 30% shooting, their three best players that were all averaging double figures, uh, had 10, 5, and 7. The kid that was averaging 17 had 7. The kid that had 10, Raymond, took him 22 shots to get it. So that part was good. Um, our offense, we just became very stagnant in the second half. But I'm pleased, um, really happy for Terrell Brown to set the school record for block shots. I thought, especially in the first half, I thought he came in and really gave us a presence on both ends. He had seven of those nine in the first half. I thought Cameron Davis's energy in the second half was really, really good. And then I thought uh, Trey McGowan's at the end of the game to close the game out at the point for us. I thought that was really, really good. And so we did some good things. Uh, you know, proud of how we closed 2018 out. Uh, you know, we'll recover and get a little rest, get back to work on Monday, and uh, start getting prepared for ACC play. Is Johnson all right? I think so. You've uh, talked previously, Jeff, about how you worry about every game with uh, this one coming off the break. Given those factors, what, you know, especially, and you've talked previously about how, you know, about how Colgate was a tough opponent. Did you worry in some ways a little bit more about this one? Yeah, I did. I did. You know, when, when you know, this is different from exam break, because even with exam break, they're still here. And you could bring them in, and they could do some conditioning. They could do some cardio. We could shoot. You know, we could do that. We did individual work, even on the days that guys looked like we didn't practice. Um, <clears throat> and so we did that. You know, they were gone, which they should have been gone. That was absolutely, they should have been gone. They had a great Christmas. Everyone did. Um, but then when we come back, you know, we haven't competed. That's the other thing. Like, it's not even just not play. Like, you haven't competed. You haven't done anything. Even with exams, it's a little bit of competing. You know, I gotta stay up, I gotta do this paper, I have to study, I have to cram, I have to, you know, whatever it is. So you're kind of competing there. Uh, you know, you're home, you're just having fun, which you should. You're relaxing, you're in, enjoying your family. And then you have to come back, now you have to get your mind back in competition mode. And so, uh, again, I, I was really happy with how we responded in the first half, how we played in the first half. And then, uh, again, I, 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 th I think it was tired, and I think it was human nature in the second half where we didn't play as well. Is Terrell still playing as a candidate as a starting center? Part, I'm sorry? Is, is Terrell, did he play good enough today to maybe supplant Kenny as a starting We'll see. Center? We have a week before we play, so we'll see. You mentioned, you know, tired. Obviously, you've got some guys that uh, are going to have to play a lot of minutes. Do, do you... Were you hesitant to bail guys out? And I mean, you have guys on the bench you could have played, but you decided to keep basically to the rotation. Was that sort of intentional? I, I mean, the guys on the bench that could have played or who that didn't play. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess could have played more. Uh, yeah, 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 well, they didn't play well enough to play more. Look, playing time, man, is not just given. It's earned. And it's not, you know, for me, I don't go into it where this guy should get X amount of minutes or whatever. Or I'm trying to, I'm trying to win a game. I'm in complete competition in game mode. And so, you know, the guys that played were, were I felt like it was the best. Either we had a lineup that was working, or it's a lineup that I felt gave us the best chance to play better. And uh, you know, the guys that played minutes. I mean, we had what eight guys in double figure minutes, I think. So. You know, it's not going to go much past that, I can tell you that. And that's no knock on anyone, but it's not going to go much past that.
you know, as a coach, Jeff, and for your staff, I mean, what did you all see in trail when you first got here? And, you know, and what were some areas, um, you know, especially given his potential with his frame, um, what were some areas of improvement that you guys have really worked on him with that you felt like if he, if he added those things, he could become that much better? Yeah, you know, you saw a kid that was long. He had good timing and blocking shots. Uh, you know, he had some skill offensively. Uh, the thing that you didn't know, you know, obviously the big question about Terrell has always been his motor. And uh, so you didn't know that. I didn't know him. As we got to know him, you see, okay, well, you know, he does want to become a good player. He wants to get better. He's not afraid of the work. It's just getting that motor revved up. And he's worked hard. He and Tim O'Toole and, 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 and my brother Jason, you know, they, they get in the gym. They do extra stuff. They do extra stuff in practice. You know, Terrell has worked at it. And it's good to see him have success, not just to block shots, but I thought his presence offensively in the first half was really good for us. You know, uh, you know, you've you've talked about the that motor uh, before. I mean, have you seen much change uh, in it at all? I mean, you know, is is he someone that you've maybe seen that kind of rev up more consistently? Here? We've seen it, want it to happen more consistently, um, but 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 he has gotten better, and it's a process. You know, normally with bigs, man, it takes them a little bit longer to figure things out too sometimes. And so, uh, again, I like the way he's going. And he did a really good job for us this afternoon. And, he, and he's done a good job for us the past few times out. You said your offense got stuck sometimes. You still had five guys in double figures. How do you feel like it could have been even better? The movement. You know, I thought, you know, they went zone in the second half and we acted like we didn't know what to do against it. Where in the first half when they did it, we just, you know, picked it apart. Um, some of that maybe had to do with a little bit of the adjustment they made in their zone. But we were, we were stagnant. Uh, we, we didn't move. We didn't cut, you know, we, we were, we were uh, careless with the ball. Um, I mean, so I think it's that. And obviously, if we defensive rebound, then we were able to get out of transition. And that's where we're, you know, at our best. And we did a very, very poor job this afternoon of that. Coach, now that you're heading into ACC play, what's your thoughts on the, on the first half of the season? I think we've done some good things. I think we've improved from game one to game 13, which we uh, just finished. Um, I think some guys individually have gotten better. I think collectively as a group, we've gotten better. Uh, I think our defense for the most part has been pretty good. I think we have been streaky offensively. We, we, we need to become more consistent there. Um, and I love how hard our guys have played with the exception of one game. And so I, I like the steps that we're taking. Um, one of the things I just told them is that after today, you know, we have to, it, it's time to flush 2018. It's over. And I know it's over in the world on Tuesday, but for us, it's over right now. 2018 provided all of us with some really good things, but some hard things, some adverse things, some difficult things. But they're all things, I think, that help make us stronger. And they're things, I think, that are going to help make us better for 2019. And so we took care of business today. We got our 10th uh, win of the season. Um, and hopefully we have some momentum headed into Saturday.